Welcome to the Revit Tutorial Lesson 6. In the past five lessons, we focus on structural modeling. In this Lesson 6, we will talk about some tips and skill about Revit. For example, we will learn some view controls and section box. The first skill we will learn is section box. We can use section box to cut through the building to have a better viewing. The section box can always be reset. First of all, we need to go to the 3D view under the properties window. Tick the section box. You can see that a box is shown and surrounding the building. Select the section box. And we can adjust the section box. The section box can cut through the building. The section box can be rotated. Select the section box again. And go to the top view. You can adjust the section box easier. Click the rotation button. Left click any space to start the rotation. Move the mouse clockwise and type 45. Press enter. You can see that the section box is rotated by 45 degree. You can see that the section box cut through the building with 45 degree. Untick the section box button. It will disable the section box. There is another way to activate the section box. Section any element. For example, Select the column. Under the Modify tab, there is a Section Box button. Click the button to enable Section Box. As you can see, the Section Box will be automatically crop the column. It is an easy way to let us for viewing a specific element. Again, untick the Section Box under the Properties window, could disable the Section Box. If we practice more, the section box will be a useful tool. Also, the section box can be used with other tool, or view control. Next, we will learn how to hide and isolate element. There are two modes to do so. The left hand side is the temporary mode. Another one is the hidden element mode. First of all, select any element as an example. Then click the Temporary Hide or Isolate button. It is a small glasses icon at the bottom toolbar. Then click the Hide Element button. You can see that the column disappear. And the window turn into light blue. Which is a reminder that there are some hidden elements. Beside clicking the Hide button, we can press H two times to hide the element. To reveal the hidden element, click the temporary hide or isolate button again and click reset button. We can also use control button to select more columns. Then the columns will be temporarily isolated. Click the reset button. And we can turn everything back. If we right click the column, we can click hide in view and click elements. You can see that the column will disappear. And it is not temporary hide. If we click the hide in view and select the category, all the columns will disappear because they belong to same category. Now, let's click the Reveal Hidden Elements button. You can see that all columns are in red color, which mean they are hidden. We can reveal them by right click. And then click the Unhide in View button, and select the category. There are few columns are still in red color. 
it is because when we hide them, we select to hide them by elements, not category. Therefore, we need to right click those columns and unhide in view by elements. Click the top right hand button. It can take us back to normal 3D view. Now, all columns are revealed. The last skill we are going to learn is the coloring and transparency. All object in the 3D view and plan view cannot edit it, including their colors and transparency. Press the V button two times. Then you can see that visibility graphic override window pops up. Under the Model Categories tab, you can find all the 3D elements. If we untick the element, you can see that all unticked items will disappear. Press the V button two times again to open the visibility graphic override window. If we tick the items again, the middle part is for you control the visibility of the element. For example, we can change the color and transparency of the element. Click the override button in the pattern column. First of all, Select the override pattern, then select solid fill. Then change the color. Also, we can change the transparency. Click OK to confirm. You can see that. All columns color and transparency has changed. Let's practice again. Press V2 times. Press V2 times. This time, we try to change the line style. Select one color. Choose the solid line. You can see that the outline of the floor slab has changed to red color. OK, that's a good place to stop. Now, let's recap what we have done in this lesson. After that, I will leave you some exercises for you to practice before you proceed to the next lesson. We learned the section box function. Now you should know how to enable and disable section box. Furthermore, you can edit the size of the section box, also the rotation. Finally, you can use another button to activate the section box for a specific element. Also, we can edit the view now, including the hide and isolation function. You can temporarily hide or isolate an element. Or, you can hide or isolate them forever. In addition, when we hide or isolate the elements, we can do it with the same category. Of course, finally we need to know how to reset the view. Finally, in the last session, we learn how to change the color and transparency of the elements. Different from changing the material, this is overriding the view. What we did is overriding. As an exercise, you are encouraged to discover more in those skills by changing the color and transparency of different elements and section the model to see different views with some elements hidden. Try your best to get your hands on these exercises and get more familiar with Revit before going on to the next lesson.